Mikey, it seems to me that I see something. Just look over there. There's a huge crowd of people. Let's get closer and find out what's going on there. Wow, wow, look. They're trying to blow up some huge obsidian box. I wonder why this is. Apparently, there's some very valuable thing inside Mikey. I wonder if they can open it, but let's see. Really? What's going on there? Is this a huge pumped up Steve from Minecraft? He's so strong. I wonder if he can break through this wall. So let's see. He's running. No, he can't break this huge obsidian box. It seems that they are not able to open it. It seems to me that we should try to do it ourselves with the help of our buildings. So right now, we will run to the Wheel of Fortune to find out which building we will build today and which resource each of us got. Before Mikey, it seems to me that we have to build something that can break through this obsidian wall. And I think I have an idea. I want you and me to build a huge tank that can fire its cannon at this obsidian wall and break through it. That we could find out what's inside. It looks like I'm lucky and it makes me very happy. Never mind, Mikey, don't be sad. Wow, I have such rich resources. Well, you can build a beautiful tank from your cheap resources, although you don't have them very much. But it seems to me that you will get a good building. Okay, Mikey. It seems to me it's time for you and me to get started. I'll take my jetpack on which I can fly, and it will be easier for me to move. So, Mikey, then you go to your plane on which you will build. And now, I will take my resources and also go to my plane where I will build my huge tank out of diamond blocks and obsidian. I hope I will get a really beautiful building and everything will be fine with me. So I came to a huge lawn on which I will build my tank. To begin with, I need to start with wheels that will be built from obsidian. So I'm starting to build my huge tank made of diamond blocks. The tracks, that is, the wheels of my tank, will be made of blocks of obsidian and blocks of blue concrete to make an imitation of the wheels inside these tracks. By the way, about the tracks, the tracks of a tank are like the wheels of a car. That is, the tank moves on these tracks. The cars have four wheels, they spin and put the car in motion. And the tank has a lot of small wheels that are in one big chain. When they spin, they start moving this big target, and the big chain can be said to serve as a huge wheel for the tank. Thus, thanks to the tracks, it can pass any roads, any dirt. It is according to this scheme that most tanks are made, because thanks to the structure of the caterpillar, the, the tank can pass through any forests, swamps, and difficult terrain. I think it's really amazing. Meanwhile, I continue to build my tank and I have almost completed the tracks and made the lower part of the base inside which all the mechanical parts of the tank are located. I really try to make it beautiful there and I want him to be able to break through the obsidian box and there would be a lot of money inside it and Mikey and I would become very rich. So here, I have already run to the lawn on which I will build my tank, and from the mud we resort, so I start building. I hope I do well. So I'm starting to build my tank out of mud. The tank's caterpillar will be made of black wool and buttons made of stone, and the body of my tank itself will be made of mud bloggers. I hope that it will not fall apart when I start shooting from it. I hope I get a good building. So I'm continuing to build my tank out of mud. And now I've already made half the hole for my tank. And now I'm going to start getting to the cockpit. Wait, is that my friend, JJ? Hello, friend. What are you doing here? Tell me why you came. Do you really want to prank me? No, friend. What are you thinking? I just came to give you a lot of these iron and diamond tools to make it easier for you to build and customize your tank. I came only with good intentions and I am ready to help you. I don't want to make a prank for you. You can generally use these tools to break blocks faster and also adjust the mechanism for your tank. 
Here are some more tools for you. Bye! Wow, thank you, friend. There are tools that really come in handy for me. Bye! I continue to build my tank out of mud. My base will be made of mud. But inside these mud blocks, there will be blocks of wood to make additional reinforcement for my tank. Also for the driver, inside which there will be a button. And if you press this button, a block of mud will fly out of the trunk of my tank, which will serve as a projectile for a shot. And I finished building my tank. I think it turned out very well. So I'm continuing to build my diamond tank hull. Ah, I'm even tired of building. It's a really difficult job. I'm even a little tired. In fact, I hope that my tank will be able to break through that obsidian wall. And all our efforts were not in vain. And I also hope that there is a lot of gold or diamonds inside this obsidian box. Wait a minute. This is something my friend Mikey needs to go down and talk to him. Why did he come? Hello, Mikey. Why did you come? Did you also come to help me because I helped you? Yes, you understood everything correctly, my friend. I brought you a lot of gasoline so that you could fill up your tank because your tank is very big and heavy. Made a lot of materials. Bye. It's good that I have a caring friend like Mikey. Okay, I need to get my jetpack back up to the tank and continue building my tank. Since the tank is fashionable to consider a reinforced and improved version of the car, I want to tell you a few facts about mechanical engineering. For example, you knew that the first cars could not boast of having steering wheels. Turning the car was possible only with the help of a special lever. Here is another interesting fact for you. The very first self-propelled car is a car that was created by Nicholas Cagnot back in 1769. And this car developed a speed of 6 km h, and it was mainly used to move guns. As for the first car with a gasoline internal combustion engine, it was created in 1885. Carl Benz is behind the invention. By this time, I have already completed my huge tank made of diamonds, and I'm very glad that I got such a beautiful building. And all I have to do is reduce it in size and break through this obsidian wall. So, Mikey, let's see what kind of building you've built here. Wow, your tank turned out pretty good, but you do understand that it will be impossible to break this obsidian wall from this small mud tank. You do understand that, don't you? Mikey, well, I guess you can try to do it. Then I ran to get my tank, and soon we will go to break the obsidian wall. So now JJ has escaped, and I will mentally prepare to launch my tank. For him to start destroying the obsidian wall, which is located right in the middle of the city, I'm very worried! So I ran to my base. Where my tank is! Just look at it right now! It's shrinking in size and getting small so you can ride and control it! It is from this powerful tank that I will destroy the obsidian wall. I am so proud of my building because I turned out to be really beautiful. So, Mikey... What do you think about my building? Do you think it can break through an obsidian wall? It seems to me that your tank will really be able to break through this huge wall of obsidian. I need to take a tank and try to destroy the obsidian wall. I hope I can do it. Come on, I'm shooting! Break through this solid wall already! And so Mikey, I looked at your tank was very weak. So right now I'm going to take the place of your tank, which collapsed into a pile of dirt. Leave my tank of diamond blocks and try to break through this wall. So let's see what happens together. Are you ready? Huh? All right. Let's go. Then jump aboard my tank and let's destroy this wall. It looks like my shot power is too low right now, so I need to adjust the power of my tank on my computers and levers, and then my tank will really be able to break through this wall. Well, I hope so. That's how we adjust the power. We are setting it up. Turn it on. Let's go. Hooray for Mikey. 
We did it! There was indeed a pile of gold inside the box. The audience to all bye-bye. A few moments later... Mikey, I think we should go to a restaurant. I'm yep. already hungry. Let's eat there and then go for a walk. Mason, let's go there. <laughs> I'm hungry too, let's go! Hey look, huh? something's wrong with this bus. It looks hmm. like it won't start. Our bus broke down and now we won't go on the excursion. And I really want to go there. I don't even know what to do now. I'm very sad. Those friends can go away from here. So that's what happened. The bus just broke down. Don't be upset. Mikey, we need to come up with something so that the children don't get upset. We need to build new cool buses for them. The wheel right. will decide who will cost the poor bus <laughs> and who will be rich. I have been given rich resources. With them, I can build a good bus for children. Hey, Mikey, don't worry. You will definitely be able to build something from these resources. You just weren't lucky this time. Mason, you're always lucky. <laughs> you can't build a cool bus with poor resources. I will try to build the best bus from these resources in order to take the children on an excursion. I'm sure you can build a good Thanks. bus out of this. We need to help the children so they don't get sad. Thank you, Mason. It's time for us to start building. The children will be happy when they see the new buses. Good luck, Mikey. You can do it. You will build a cool bus. I will start too. The faster I build it, the faster the kids will be able to go on an excursion. It's good that I got rich. I can build a really cool bus and go on an excursion to a cool place. It's time to fly to the place where I will build. It's good that I have a jetpack. I can fly there quickly. As you can see, I have already arrived at the place where I will build a rich bus. I'll build a big bus and then I'll just make it smaller. It'll be much prettier that way. The kids like it. First, I will build the wheels part, and then I will build the base. I will build the bus in white. It will look more beautiful that way. I'm sure the kids will like the bus because it's made from rich resources. While I'm building a bus, I can tell you something interesting about it. I'll tell you how the bus appeared. The creator of the first invention similar to a bus was a Briton named Richard Trevithick from the small town of Camborne. On Christmas Eve 1801, the machine that the inventor was testing on the street attracted a crowd of curious townspeople. The invention had eight seats and used coal as fuel. A stoker standing on a special footrest threw it into the firebox. The new means of transportation quickly became popular in Europe and the United States of America. The name of the transport was given by combining the words automobile and omnibus. It was the omnibus, a horse-drawn carriage that was used to transport people before the invention known to us. I hope you like this fact. I can tell you more interesting things. Here's another interesting fact about how buses began. The first city bus began running in London in the spring of 1903. Red double-decker London buses have already become a local landmark, but not many people know that they first appeared on the streets of the British capital in 1959. Tour guides tell tourists the legend of Routemaster Number 7, which appears out of nowhere and also mysteriously disappears at the intersection of two streets. The mystique of this story is added by the fact that it is at the intersection of Cambridge Gardens and St. Mark's Road that strange accidents most often occur. I wonder how Mikey's bus is doing. I hope he makes a good bus. Meanwhile, while I was telling you interesting facts, I had already finished building half of the bus body. Then I will need to arrange its interior. I will continue to build and want to tell you something else interesting about the bus. Transport vehicles intended for school children are particularly safe. Their bright yellow color is a warning to drivers that they should be extremely vigilant on the road. In America, they came up with a few more details to protect children from road accidents. A barrier that does not allow you to go around the bus from the front and stop signs that are extended when boarding from the side of the road. I've already started building the floor. I'll start building the seat soon. I also want to ask you to subscribe to my channel because I try very hard and build interesting buildings for you. I hope it will not be difficult for you to subscribe to my channel. I will tell you about the largest bus. The longest bus was designed in densely populated China. Engineers have developed a vehicle more than 37 meters long. Such a giant can accommodate 380 people and consists of five sections that can be combined into a road train. However, due to its size, the large bus can only move along straight streets and at a speed of no more than 80 km h. In Europe, the analog of the largest vehicle is considered to be the DAF Super City Train, 32 meters. It has 110 seats and 140 standing. 
I've already started building seats for the bus. There won't be many of them. I plan to make more, but I think this will be enough. The children will fit. By the way, I also want to tell you that buses were even used to deliver carrier pigeons. The French were the first to implement this idea during the First World War. With the help of birds, soldiers received messages from their families. And during the Second World War, the British also began to use this method of delivering letters. The famous double-decker buses were used for this. How do you like this fact? I would never have thought that buses once delivered carrier pigeons. I wonder how Mikey is doing. I think you should watch it from the very beginning. I am and came to the place where I will build my poor bus. It's a pity that I got poor resources again. I will try to build at least some kind of bus. When I finish building the whole bus, I'll go look for a place for an excursion. At first I thought I'd go and look at the excursion options when I finish building half of it. But my bus will be small, and it will take me a long time to build it. So I'll go when I finish building the whole thing. I think Mason has already told you something. I also want to tell you the facts. I want to tell you about the longest route. The longest bus route is considered to be the Australian route between Brisbane and Perth. Such a trip takes 76 hours and 5,000 5 kilometers. The second longest route within one country is the Russian route St. Petersburg Makushkala. The journey lasts more than two days and is during which the driver covers 2,585 kilometers. Huh? It looks like I won't be able to build the bus I wanted. I want to tell you one more thing. Today, buses are a comfortable and safe means of transportation and are used not only as public transport within the boundaries of a populated area, but also for traveling to different cities and countries. They have everything you need. Lighting, heating, toilet, internet, reliable security systems. We can talk for a long time about the advantages of buses for the modern passenger, but the statistics speak for themselves. In large cities, more than 2 million people use this means of transport per day. And for long trips, the bus has no equal, so every day millions of people buy tickets and travel around the world in comfortable conditions. These are the facts! In the meantime, I have already finished building half of the bus. I wonder what Mason is doing, but I can't be distracted by watching him build. I want you to be able to go on an excursion as soon as possible. I have just a little bit left and the bus will be ready. While I'm finishing building the roof of my bus, I'll tell you something else about the creation of the bus. In 1829, a bus with a comfortable and expanded interior with 28 seats appeared on the streets. It smoked less and in speed, it overtook all the vehicles that existed at that time. It's not a big building, but I'm already tired of building. I don't understand why it's hard this time. I probably just don't have the strength, but I'll still build this bus because I want the kids to be happy. My bus is almost ready. I need to go and find a tour. I hope that there are some interesting excursions in this city. After all, I have poor resources and no money at all, so I won't be able to buy a good excursion. It's time to go. I think I'll be able to find something. I should hurry. I've already arrived in the city. Hmm. It's Mikey. Hi, Mikey. How's your bus? I've already finished building it. I want to find a tour. Mikey, I'm glad that you've already succeeded. Thanks. I also came here to find a place where I could take a tour. I'll go find some cool place. I hope it's here. I have a lot of money. I can find a cool place. I'm tired of walking. Huh? This is a swamp with pigs. This is the only it's place. It's free, and I can definitely go there. It's a pity that I don't have money for another place, but I think that it will also be interesting for children. Here I am. This is the very place that was in the photo. This is where I'm going. What beautiful pigs. I didn't think they had children. It's time to go to the bus. Decorate it a little, and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, there is an amusement park here. Interesting, I have an idea. I can rent it and give a tour. Kids will definitely like it here. We need to find him and talk to him. Hmm, it looks like it is. Hi, I have a lot of diamonds and I want to rent this amusement park to hold a tour here. I agree, bring the kids here. They'll love it, it's a cool park. It worked, I found a place for the excursion and I'm very happy. And now I need to go and finish building my bus. I wanna bring them here as soon as possible. They will be very happy. As you can see, I'm already in place and continuing construction again. I've almost built half, but I think I'll finish the second one quickly. 
By the way, here's another fact for you. The most extravagant and extraordinary was recognized as the GM Future Liner, produced in the 1930-1950s by the famous company General Motors. Buses of this model participated in the motor rally called Parade of Progress, and recently one of them became the most expensive. The 1950 model was sold at auction for $4 million. It's good that I have prepared a lot of facts for you today. The first bus with an internal combustion engine. The Germans developed the ideas of the British and created a car with an internal combustion engine. The bus could carry eight passengers at a speed of 12 kilometers or h. Such cars were used for communication between three German cities, Deutz, Siegen, and Netven. Let me tell you about the evolution of buses. Not only the length of the route that the bus could cover changed, its shape and filling changed. The times when only eight passengers could ride in the cabin are long gone. Many companies sought to create a mega car capable of serving a large number of people. The first success was the company DAF. It was able to create a car that carried 350 passengers. The length of this giant was 32 meters and it was called Super City Train. The ex-president of the Republic of Zaire took part in its development. These are such interesting facts. I hope you like them and I didn't learn them all in vain. <laughs> I will start building the roof very soon. I wish it would be finished soon. I want the children to visit the amusement park sooner. It seems to me that they have never been there and they will be very pleased to visit it. And while I'm finishing the roof of the bus, I'll tell you about the bus depot. Chief Minister Sheila Dixit on Friday inaugurated the world's largest bus depot at Millennium Park. The new depot is comprehensive in every way. It has parking space for about 1,000 buses, five bus scanning centers, seven hostels for Delhi Transport Corporation, DTC employees, a 500-person overnight shelter, eight wash pits, four underground tanks for washing buses, and two CNG filling stations. Among other facilities, officials said the depot was built in a very short period at a cost of R61 Karor and can be termed as the greenest depot in the country. Four hybrid buses have also been launched, which will run on both CNG and electricity and will run at the speed of a metro train. DTC will operate around 6,000 buses during the games and has identified 42 sites to provide direct bus service to the game's venues. DTC has already deployed 400 of these state-of-the-art queue shelters on all roads leading to the game's venues. A further 800 queue shelters are currently being installed. I have built almost half of the roof. I will finish soon. I am happy. Did you know that there are buses for children? Buses that were created specifically for transporting children stand out for their special safety in the world. It is no coincidence that they are yellow. It has been scientifically proven that yellow attracts attention better than the usual red. American developments increase special precautions with a retractable barrier and stop signs on the side of the road when boarding and not allowing you to overtake the vehicle in front. Here, too, the Americans have distinguished themselves with the special safety of their vehicles. I told you so much. I hope you like this information. I'm sure that Mikey told you a lot, too. Now you know much more about buses and their history. I couldn't believe that the largest bus can carry about 300 people. There are so many of them, like in some small train. I like this fact the most. When I saw it, I was shocked. And I immediately thought that I would tell it to you. After all, I only share interesting things with you. I'm almost done, and I'm happy about it. I'm a little tired of building it. I wonder how Mikey is doing. I hope he finished building his bus. It turned out at least a little bit normal. I think we should go on his bus first. I wonder what kind of place he chose for the excursion. There is very little left. If you liked my bus, then give it a like. And now it's time to go to the city to see Mikey. Mason here is my bus. This is the best hmm. thing I could build from these resources. Interesting. The kids are already here, so come with us on an excursion. All right. Okay, Mikey, <laughs> let's go. I hope you chose a good place. After all, the kids should like it. After all, we want them to be happy. Let's get in quickly. I think the kids really want to go on an excursion. <laughs> Mikey, why are the brakes so bad here? How did you assemble your bus? I don't know why they broke. I converted them and everything was fine. 
We didn't like it. It was a bad tour. We wasted our time. Wait, we have another tour. That was a poor one. Now it's going to be a rich one. Let's go back to town. You'll like the next tour. <laughs> We're already awesome. here. Wow. Mason, you have a very beautiful <laughs> bus. I like it very much. I didn't think that you would be able to build such a beautiful bus. Sit down, children. I tried very hard to make such a bus. Also, the place where we are going is cool. Let's go. Here we are. Kids, you will be shocked when you see this place. I think you have never been to such a cool place. This amusement park is especially for children. I really want them to like everything. Children, come here quickly. Now this park is completely yours. You can have fun here all day. Mason, I didn't think you'd choose such a cool place. I'm shocked myself. If I were a child, I'd be very happy with such an excursion. This is Coca-Cola for you and the kids. I told you everything would be great. Yes, as you promised. Glad that everything worked out. Now they will be very happy. Good that we met them today. Now we made them the happiest. Without your amusement park, nothing would have happened. Thanks for your help. And you subscribe to the channel and put a like. And I will make many more interesting buildings yep. for you.